Okay, now let's hear from both sides of the aisle here going head to head. Sinclair political commentator Amisha Cross and member of the President's National Security Education Board, host of America First on Salem Radio and Sinclair Media contributor Dr. Sebastian Gorka. The topic du jour or this week, Amisha, the pick. Senator Kamala Harris becomes Vice President Biden's pick for vice president uh, in case he is the president. So tell us your thoughts and specifically, Amisha, I got to go there. Defund the police. She hasn't been a she hasn't been a big fan of police and law law enforcement uh, groups around the country for the entirety of her career, especially recently. How is she going to handle the defund the police situation? Well, to the first part of your question, I think that Democrats across America are actually singing "Oh Happy Day" today. Um, many of us believe that Kamala Harris was going to be the pick months ago, and seeing her, someone who has also been a very ardent supporter of racial reconciliation and developing a a politics that does not reign supreme with white supremacy, I think that she's someone that a lot of people are excited about, particularly Ooh. those in the African American Ooh. community, Ooh. which is the largest group. How, of how did how did white supremacy creep into this conversation within the first minute? Let me just stay on this for one second. A lot of people are pushing back on Kamala Harris on the right and maybe even in the center and maybe some African-Americans. Let me put it this way. She has a very bad history as far as um, even, even going so low as marijuana in the state of California. She prosecuted marijuana as a crime in the state of California. How is that going to play out in the election? I think that Kamala Harris can speak towards her record. She's someone who is now more progressive than she obviously was then. Um, this We have to remember that criminal justice reform and the criminal justice reformist era is all very new. There were prosecutors across the country who at the time Kamala Harris was AG of California would have done and had done the exact same things that she did. So I think that we have to look at things within the context of the time at which it was something that, even though I would consider wrongful, was something that many people, many people within her position did across this very, country. Very, very forgiving. Very forgiving, Misha. You, you, you liberals are so forgiving. Sebastian, your thoughts on being forgiving of Kamala Harris, but not so forgiving of some of the people on the right, Trump and, and others. Well, I, I think you, you already made the comment when you have a Misha mention white supremacy within three seconds of being asked about Kamala Harris, you know that living in an alternate universe, this pick has nothing to do with America. It's all about identity politics. This woman was chosen because of her sex and because of her skin color. It's absurd. It's a joke. It's pathetic. It's an insult to people who believe that America is a meritocracy. And when it comes to the last 10 weeks of insanity, on the streets of, of America in cities and states run by Democrats. The idea that the woman put more than 100 people in prison for marijuana use, that jokes about her use of marijuana on a radio interview. Uh, the people who are singing, oh, happy day today, Eric, it's Republicans and it's the MAGA crowd. This is a superb choice because this does nothing to Joe Biden. In fact, great for President Trump. You know, and, and Misha, last week we asked everyone on this show, we had, I don't know, seven or eight different guests on the show who they thought uh, Joe Biden would pick, not should pick, but would pick. We asked both. I think, I think it was almost unanimous that he was going to pick Kamala Harris. There's no surprise here. She's a known quantity. Does she bring anything positive to the ticket? I mean, I, I, she seems predictable, and, and we saw that coming, and doesn't seem like to be something that's going to be exciting for a guy who's frankly not that exciting. She brings energy to the ticket. She brings a perspective that is different. She brings a side that is not, I think, as moderate as many on the left would consider Joe Biden. And she's a good counterbalance. I'll let you have that, Sebastian. I'm not sure that I, I don't counterbalance. I'm not sure how a what's perceived as a moderate in Kamala Harris uh, helping out what is perceived as a moderate Democrat in Joe Biden helping Sebastian, helping the left, they need to turn out the vote. Is this going to be the exciting ca candidate that's going to turn out the vote on November 3rd? The idea that she's bringing energy to this campaign, this is a campaign that needs resuscitation. It needs to be liberate a panel. The, the, the question is, is she going to get her own bunker too? Is she going to be hiding away like Joe Biden's been hiding away? This is a ticket that doesn't appeal to Americans who love this country. If you hate this country, if you believe in the swamp, if you, if you hate all this country, then you won't support a black woman. You to vote for that ticket, but most Americans are going to say no thanks. Amisha, 
to say that if you hate this country, then you won't support a black woman. I think that that's a, a very callous and problem troublesome ideology women, because what we know black, about America is that over the majority of the population in America is female. The majority is play, also all right, all right. people of color. I mean, your fi final thoughts, Sebastian. Go ahead. So, I don't play identity politics. You play identity politics. Good luck with that. All right, you know, we're gonna leave it there, but let me throw a little two cents into this, a little, little, little flavor on this discussion. I don't believe in identity politics either, but I do believe in knowing how to win, and I do believe Joe Biden needed to pick a female, and certainly a female of color. That had, that had to be the choice for Joe Biden if he wanted to have any chance in, in November. So we're gonna leave it right there, Amisha Cross and Sebastian Gorka. Always great to base with you two, thank you.